welcome back. This is part three of the way of the cross. I'm glad we could be together again today. It's so fun to see you every day right now. So we'll begin with our candle. It always feels like such a special moment to light the candle and to be together. You're here, I'm here, God is here, and we have a story. And I have my rock still with the cross painted on it that I take with me wherever I go this week to remind me that this is a holy, holy week. And I'm glad we're together this week. So our, our story begins with a purple cloth. We don't use the purple cloth that often. Get to today. This is a crown. It's not a princess crown or a king's crown that we've seen before, golden and beautiful. This is a crown of thorns. The story that we have today started when Jesus traveled from Galilee, his hometown, to Jerusalem. And when he arrived in Jerusalem, the people greeted him, and they said, Hosanna, 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 we're so glad you're here. Welcome to Jerusalem. Welcome to our homes. And that night after the parade, Jesus went to the garden, and he prayed to God, knowing that something difficult was going to happen, something he didn't want to happen something that he was afraid of. And yet, even though he was in agony about what would happen, Jesus still prayed, God, let your will be done. I will trust you. The story for today is the story called Jesus is Condemned. What do you know about Jesus? What do you know about Jesus's life and what he did? Shout it out. Tell me some things that you remember learning about Jesus. Those are some things. And I have a few pictures to show to remind us of many things. We remember that Jesus is born. He was a baby. That's Joseph and Mary, and they're holding Jesus. We remember that story at Christmas time. We remember that Jesus was baptized in the River Jordan, and the bird, the dove, a voice came from heaven and said, You are my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. Jesus was baptized as a grown-up. Most of us are baptized as babies. And here's another picture of Jesus doing something else. Jesus is healing the man whose eyes are blind. He's putting his hands on his face and restoring his sight. Jesus was a healer. We also remember that Jesus was a teacher. He had friends or students that he said, come and follow me. 
and he taught them lots of stories. He taught them about the Good Shepherd. He taught them about the Samaritan. He taught them about how God's kingdom is like a mustard seed and like a pearl of great price. He taught them uh, all kinds of stories about how to be good people and to love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus was a very good teacher. And Jesus fed people. Here he is at the Last Supper doing the First Communion, saying, drink this and eat this and do this in remembrance of me. That night he taught his friends to serve each other just as he had served them. Jesus was a servant and Jesus fed people. Today we remember the story of Jesus condemned to death. This is Pilate, a ruler at the time of Jesus, a judge. And this is Jesus with his hands tied behind his back like a criminal, like he'd done something wrong. Jesus is condemned. Condemned is a, it's a big word and it means to be judged. And in this case, Jesus was falsely judged, falsely accused. There were people that loved Jesus and sang hosannas and welcomed him to Jerusalem. And there were people who thought that Jesus was becoming too popular and that, they, that the people would follow Jesus and not them. Pilate was one of those people. He was a ruler and a judge. And he did not want Jesus to take over. And the crowd of people that said, crucify Jesus, crucify him, well, Pilate listened to them. And he condemned Jesus to die on the cross. Pilate had soldiers, and the soldiers took Jesus away from his friends and they put a purple cloth around his shoulders and they beat him and they made fun of him and finally they placed a crown of thorns on his head and they called him the king of the Jews. Jesus was condemned to die on the cross. I wonder what it felt like to hear that he was condemned to die. I wonder what it felt like to hear a crowd of people lie about him and be angry at him and say crucify him. I wonder what it felt like to wear the crown of thorns on his head. wonder about you. Has anyone ever said something false about you? Has anybody ever lied about you? What did that feel like? I wonder if you have ever lied. And I wonder
wonder what it felt like to tell a lie. Have you ever hurt somebody? Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't mean to. And sometimes we feel bad inside and we do that to make somebody else feel bad. This is not a happy story. But it is a true story. It is a real story. And it is an important story to take with us wherever we go and to remember. If you'd like to remember this story later, you can hold your cross and just remember because the cross is a symbol. And if we can remember a part of the story, we can remember all of the story. And there's a coloring page that your parents can print off for you that says judgment, and it has all these fingers pointing at Jesus. And it reminds us of this part of the story that is hard to hear, but it is true. Thank you for spending time with me again today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next part of our story. It's time to blow out the candle.